That breaking news, 10 days since the key bridge collapsed, a third body has been recovered from the wreckage. Minor Yasser Suazo Sandoval was one of four workers who had been missing since last Tuesday's catastrophic collapse. 11 News reporter Tori Yorgi spoke exclusively with state police tonight and joins us now live with those late breaking details. Tori, you spoke with Colonel Roland Butler. Correct, Deb Andre and Colonel Butler described today as just a very somber day. As you mentioned there, it's been 10 days since the collapse of the key bridge. And while one family has closed a sense of closure, I should say tonight, Colonel Butler did add that they are working tirelessly to give the other families that same closure. To the families still awaiting answers, we ask you to please be patient. We're working diligently to provide closure. We cannot stress how dangerous the conditions are down there, and we're working our very hardest to recover anyone that's down there and help you bring closure to this tragic event. State police tell us the body of 38-year-old Maynor Yazer Suazo Sandoval was pulled from the Patapsco River around 10.30 this morning, just a few hours before the president's visit. Unified Command says the victim was pulled from what they believe is a red vehicle. Unfortunately, he was the only individual we located in that vehicle. Uh, we went back down uh, a short period of time later to conduct the search around the area. The diver was able to enter the vehicle and could not find anyone else within the vehicle and there was no one else located in the area of the vehicle. We know crews are working to remove pieces of the key bridge from the river, but the governor has repeatedly said just because they are in salvage operation mode does not mean they will stop searching for the missing victims. Colonel Butler says at this point, they are still searching for the remaining three construction workers and the vehicles they were using. Yes, we are, but you know, just as they're working to remove parts of the structure, they're working very slow and methodically so they can account for shifts or anything else that occurs there. Once they come across something, just like they did this morning, they bring everything to a stop, they make sure it's safe, and we deploy divers. Now, we did receive a statement from Governor Westmore tonight saying in part, quote, Maryland is praying for the family of Maynor Yasser Suazo Sandoval and all of his loved ones, adding that he and those five other workers, uh, quote, hailed from communities that have gone long overlooked and underappreciated, but their work had dignity and their contributions will never be forgotten. We also received a statement from Baltimore City Mayor Brandon Scott saying in part, quote, while I take solace in knowing this brings us one step closer to closure, my heart continues to be with all the families still waiting anxiously for their loved ones, end quote. Now, I do want to point out that we spoke with the victim's brother, Sandoval's brother, the night of the collapse. He told us then that his brother was a very happy guy who really motivated his family. Live tonight from Dundalk, I'm Tori Yorkie, WBAL-TV 11 News.